Well, here we have it. I built a passive house, which you see behind me. Why passive? Passive because we live in a time when it is absolutely vital to save energy. The passive house here has an air tightness rating that is quite extraordinary because it is 0.3 instead of the usual 0.6 of the maximum, which is expected. The fitting of photovoltaic panels in the roof provides us with all the energy required in the house. We are completely independent in terms of energy. So not only is it passive, but it's also zero energy because all the energy is supplied. And when I say all, I mean absolutely all. Sanitary hot water, household electricity, kitchen, etc. We are self-sufficient. I opted for an OptiFire fireplace from Bodar and Gounet to heat my passive house. And this was against the recommendations of certain people, particularly the architect. I selected an open fire for three main reasons. Firstly, because for a passive house in any case, I needed a heat input of about 15 kilowatts per square meter a year. And therefore, the open fire, even if it is not used at full power, largely gives me this amount of energy required by the passive house. Secondly, enjoyment and comfort are important, of course, and we really wanted an open fire in the house. Thirdly, wood is a fuel that is inexpensive, and indeed, from our experience, which now goes back two years, we use around a cubic meter of wood per year to heat the entire house. This seems to me to be a reasonable cost compared to fossil fuel, which is becoming increasingly expensive. The fireplace produces its heat, but some of this heat is also recycled via a vent, which you can see here. What is very important is to observe that the dual-flow ventilation grill is not far away, which enables the passage of warm air across the building. To explain further, there's the kitchen opposite, where the dual-flow vent opening sucks in air. And we can see that the warm air produced in the living room is recycled via the kitchen to be sent around the whole house through the dual-flow ventilation system. Here, I also need to explain that the company which built the passive house, Technique Construction, had another idea which we found absolutely superb. We are standing near the site of a little, small, technical closet in the house. In this technical closet is the conduit for the open fireplace chimney, which goes up to the ridge of the roof. Here you'll find the air intake for the dual-flow ventilation and the air heat pump for the sanitation. The air heat pump is not connected to the outside. It takes advantage of the warm air in this room produced by the chimney conduit. Benefiting from this heat, the output of the heat pump is increased. But the cold that it produces also cools down the room in which we are standing. Thus, in short, if the heat pump wasn't here, it would always be very hot in the room due to the heat produced by the chimney conduit. The heat pump kicks in to absorb a major part of this heat, to increase its output, and if the heat pump is not working, the heat produced here in this room is recycled by the vent opening and redistributed throughout the house. There you have it. By way of conclusion, we've been living in the house for three years, three consecutive winters.
We are utterly delighted with the system, and we wouldn't change it for the world.